Escorting. When is this cycle ever gonna end? A damaged family in denial. You never had me out with strange men's in room. You, you never did. took me with you to go buy drugs. You pimped out your own daughter I for did money. Like, you don't know, know what that man did. I did not. Me. My sister was my friend. Listen, you was my heart. I want you to say, look, I was wrong. I was wrong. Coming in and thanks for watching. Sisters are supposed to have each other's backs, not not be at each other's throats. Sisters are here today to battle it out over years and years of bad blood. Please welcome Shanda to the show. Shanda, Shanda how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Hi. Shanda, why are you here today? I'm here actually because I'm so tired of my sister. I'm so tired of my sister. She come up with more excuses, the reason why we're not getting along. I want so bad for us to have a relationship. With Felicia. You with love Felicia. Felicia. Yes. How long have you two been apart in a sense? Um, on and off for maybe 10 years. Wow. Really? On and off, yes. Tell me about problems. your child. When you two were growing up as kids, your relationship with Felicia was what? Oh, we had a good relationship as kids. Best friend. I loved her. We did a lot together. We traveled. I help her with her girls. No issues. Not really. But then there was a, then there was an event. What happened about ten years ago? Um, she started abusing drugs. Drugs. She started abusing drugs, and she got to the point where she asked me, um, raising her kids. The level of Felicia's drug problems. Um, it started off like casual, I guess, but then it got a little heavy. worse. It heavy. got heavy. Got heavy, and. Um, she managed to get it on, you know, get on track and stuff like that. But. And it got so bad, Shannon, that she left one of her daughters with you for years. Well, actually, she wanted her oldest daughter um, to stay with me, but she asked the two youngest daughters' father if, she, if he would watch them. And he came to me and asked me, you know, what do you think? I'm willing to get all the girls. And I said, well, she's with me a lot. So he said, well, why don't we ask her? And she goes to be with us, but we all were good. We kept the kids And together. Felicia exited from this mother-daughter relationship. And what is the one of the main things that bugs you financially about what happened? She never offered me money. She hurt me by not, you know, assisting with yeah. her child. Um, I would go to her and she would say, hey, oh, I gave her money. Don't say I don't give my daughter money. And I said, well, you're giving your daughter money. You're not giving me money. And so you had to go to court to get the money for child support because she was getting the money from the from the court exactly. instead of you getting the money. Exactly. And when this I, went on, and this made you extremely, it, extremely It made angry. me mad, because she was getting money for about five years. Then when I found out she was getting child support, and I called child support, and they said, well, you need to get custody of her. And that's what I did, to get custody of my niece so, you know, I can get some kind of So assistance. you're angry about this whole deal? I'm angry. All right, let's, all right, let's do this. Let's get her out here and see if we can rebuild this relationship. Please welcome Shanda's sister. Felicia, come on out. Honey. Shanda, Shanda, you know the only money that I received from the state was back child support you got when child I support. ever got child support. Why'd you give up your kids? Why? Because I knew I was woman enough right. to realize that I had a problem. And I gave which was drugs. So, which was drugs, whatever you want to call it. Right. Was it also escorting? No, it had nothing to do with that because at that time I was making almost $70,000 right. a year. So you're saying so you, you never escort? You never escort? I'm not saying I didn't do it down the line, sir, but the point is right now. Have we're a seat, honey. Have a seat. So what happened that changed you when you came, changed you when you came back from Jamaica? I knew nothing about the Jamaica issue. What happened? When I went over to Jamaica, first of all, sir, I went through so much in my life. I went through it by myself. I was the person who took care of my mother, my father. I had three aunts who was, uh, two aunts who was passing away. I'm driving back and forth to Toledo, taking care of three children, foster children, a daycare center, Where and was everything. Shanda? Sitting at home with her husband. Excuse me, okay. Felicia, I never I'm help one, you. I'm I the never one, help I'm not sending you to help me with the girls, but I'm care of family issues. Take and care so of my mother. My mother was going through a divorce. She was going through hard times. She was losing her brothers and sisters we to cancer. We all helped, Felicia. Okay, we I was all there. You but was I was a there. single mom. Was I, there. I was a single mom. Okay. Right. okay, but you okay. make it seem like that I was not. I'm not, not doing not, that. I'm not doing not, that. You, not, first of all, you was a good person. You was an excellent You was an excellent mother. We're talking about now, Felicia. Your kids are getting old to realize Felicia, how many kids do you have? How many kids? Three beautiful girls. Beautiful. And you got beautiful. two of them here today. Yes, sir. Didn't Shanda raise one of them? 
I came to Shan Street attached to my oldest Your own child because I was sister. a woman enough right. to realize that I had a problem. Right. And Big I did problem. not want to. What was I the had problem? a drug problem. Drug, yes. serious, I for went years. To, I went, serious, for I went years. To, I went and, I, and you know what? I give you credit for that. I give you Most credit women because you abandoned your children. No, I you did not. did add, I did. and I, I give you credit right. for that. And I've right. always gave you credit for That's that, right. Felicia. Didn't but you I'm fall saying. in the world of prostitution to get money no, to fuel your habit? No, I did not, sir. No, I did didn't not. Oh, I did didn't not. Didn't didn't no, sir. Don't your I daughters learned. know that? No, sir. I never had sex relationship for money. Did you no. use your, as a lure when you were escorting? No. I used my really? daughter's face. Her face. I never, I never let a man, never let a man touch my daughter. But, I would hurt but a did man you take you your 14-year-old daughter she along? She was not 14. She was 18. Thank right. you. 18. 18. You she brought her not along eight. to meet the Johns, but she never saw the act. But she was you there. You think to it Lord. seemed like I was out there? I'm asking the question. Okay, sir. First Is it of true? All, first, first, Is of it all, true? All, first of all, it was one guy. Did you escort? It was one guy. Yes, I worked for a professional escort service, and okay. it was no sexual involved in that. It was body uh -huh. massaging. Okay. Body massage. That's right. With no sex, I never had sex for money. Let's get that straight. Okay. Now let's do this, honey. Okay. I want to be judgmental. We all have that's problems. That's right. Let's, let's you got two daughters here. What's your yes. relationship now with your two daughters? It's not that great because, because. they because because of my actions. Because they have memories maybe a little different. Here. Uh -huh. That's right. They saw things maybe nothing little... different than mine. Is because I realized, sir, that I I do realize that, and I do realize that I needed help. That's so why listen, I my left. problem is you. You talk to your kids, which is a good thing, but you told you was telling them too much. And it's like, right. as a they mom... They were seeing too you, much. Right, they were seeing... You just don't You have do no it. relationship with your sister or with right. your daughters that you want... You want right. to have a better relationship. I want to have a better relationship. That's why yes. you're here today. Yes, sir. That's but you why gotta I'm here confront today. the past before that's you right. move exactly. to the future. That's, that's right. right. That's all I'm saying. I'm here, here because I want us to I have a good chance. relationship. Tell Felicia what you need from her. Now we got your two daughters here coming out, and believe me, they're gonna say things, things that are gonna make mom a bit unhappy. I but understand. Tell right. me what you want. I want you to realize how you hurt me when I had my miscarriage, Felicia, and I called you because your daughter called me hurting because she said my mom came up here acting a fool because I wouldn't let her in. You told you said some of the meanest things to her. So when your daughter called me, of course I'm acting out. And you called you said to me, that's why you had a that's why you had a miscarriage, B and hung. Talk up. about the lump in your breast and where your sister was when you needed her for well, that. Well, I went in to get um, a mammogram. They found a lump in my breast. I got a biopsy, I was good. But I, I wanted you to say is, I want my sister, I used to cry out because I, to your kids saying, you know what, I don't have true friends. My sister was my friend, Felicia, you was my shut, heart. You shut me out of your life. You know why, you it shut was me too out. much shut drama. Me. Whenever you came no, around, Felicia, you it was too when much drama. When you needed drama. me, I was there for and you. you. And you knew that I had a problem when I first that went was to rehab. Then. And I every time you, you had a problem, before oh my God. Every time you every had a time problem. Every time you had a problem, I was there for you. You was. And every time you had a problem. But when I needed you guys, you guys would You weren't there for the miscarriage. You weren't there for the love. When I needed them the most before all of this happened in my life, I needed them. Like when I came to them, you when I first went me. to drug rehab and drug rehab, I told them. Who my took over and your sister, daycare? I said, Who listen, took over your daycare? I need some help. Who took over right here? With me. I Something took over your daycare. You called me, Felicia. I was there for you. Don't you dare say that. I will come over and clean your house. Cook. My husband used to come, my ex husband used to come to me and say, Should I kill you? Come over and say, Should I kill you? Come my house over. Clean, first I'm not all. saying that you did. Did she treat you, you like did. a homeless you person? You did. You did. She never let me in. She never let you in. No. Did you, know you need what? a place to live at some I was, point? I because needed a place to live at some point. I stayed with my lying. sister, mad at me one day, and put me out of her house. You told you, and everything. you could I come in my house after midnight. You came in at 7 in the morning. I've been at work at 7 in the morning. You came in my house I was, at, I, my house I was, at I was, 7. Your daughter was coming in, me. going to school, she, and you were coming in. I knocked on her wrong woman, okay? She go out, she would go her thing. I went out one night. I came in probably about What were you doing late at night? I was not doing drugs. What was she doing, honey? That wasn't good, you though. Guess what? Right. The battle between the sisters is about to become a mother-daughter war. Don't go away. Stay you're going to hear things from your daughters I think you're not going to like. The mother-daughter confrontation you can't miss. You never had had me out with strange men in room and paying them $20 Twice. to touch my boobs? Twice. No, three times, honey. Unbelievable allegations. You, you never did. took me with you to go buy drugs? Really? You haven't had drug men come into my house with my son that I trusted you with? And bitter battles. You will not leave your house. Sit down. Uh, I'm, I'm not your kid. You didn't raise these, Look, okay. baby. You ain't going to raise okay, this you one. Sit I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Hey, Cookie, what are you doing? We're starving here.
Hold on to your biscuit. I'm getting an, on an online car insurance quote from the general. He's kidding, right? Nope. Get your anonymous online quote from the general in minutes with low general in minutes with low payments and choice of due date. Don't squat on your spurs, boys. <laughs> get an anonymous online quote now. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. When you don't have insurance, everything stops. You can't drive. You're just stuck. But when you call insurance, you can drive legal. Close down. Call or visit goodtogo.com and you could get proof of car insurance on the spot. We specialize in minimum coverage. Get a free quote in less than a minute. You can drive legal for as little as $20 down. Call 1-800-881-7788 or visit goodtogo.com. 1-800-881-7788. Are you being denied credit or paying high interest rates? Your credit score could be the poor, could be the problem. You need Credit Repair Pros, where we work directly with the credit bureaus and your creditors to challenge inaccurate information on your credit report to help you transform your credit score into the one you need to get the things you want, like a new car, a new home, even a new job. Call Credit Repair Pros to speak with a credit expert and find out how we'll work to improve your credit by helping remove inaccurate items from your credit reports. For over 15 years, we've helped thousands resolve their credit issues, and we've helped remove move over half a million negative items, like charge-offs, late payments, foreclosures, even bankruptcies. So don't wait. Call Cre Credit Repair Pros today and start rebuilding your future. Credit Repair Pros, where great credit begins. Call now for your free credit consultation. Credit experts are standing by. Call 1-800-701-4991. That's 1-800-1-4991. I wish it wasn't just the dark times that brought us together. Vandal Savage is going to decimate Central City. Immortal. You're not going to get chess. No, Kendra! Slash and Arrow. Heroes join forces tonight, 8, 7 central on The CW. The series critics called brilliant. You just need to use what God gave you. My charm and my wit? It's a weird name for your boobs. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. New episodes return Monday, January 25th. She's lying. I'm going to tell her the truth. She's going to, she's going to finally admit what she did wrong. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. Today's about sisters' blood feuds. That's been going on for about 10 years. Felicia, what do you want from Shonda? You're going to hear things from, things from your daughters I think you're not going to like because they have a perception about what was going on that you may not clearly have understood because of the drugs. And I thank God for 10 months you've been clean. I thank God. But what, what, what do you want? What do you, Shanda, what do you? I want Shanda to stop holding my past now. I want her to realize that I'm a changed person right. and that I've now. come back to be that right. strong person that right. she known to and me I'm giving for you all those for years. Now. You know, I cannot go back and change you anything. Can. If and you I know can't anybody that's anything. been on drugs, drugs, Drugs does change a person. Drugs make you do Please, things that you, you normally don't do. Okay, drugs, not drugs, right now. Right now, not, right now, it's not. Right. You're right, but that was my excuse. Okay. Right now, I'm right. clean. Okay. I'm sober, and I move on with okay. my life. You don't and have I to prove to me. I want to prove to you, and I want to prove to your girl. So you're the one. You're the one sitting here. So you, you the one has not been answering my phone calls. You're right. I'm the one to talk to my sister. Right. So you telling me, you telling the world about about how much you miss me, how much you want me. I do miss you. For the last three or four months, I've been calling your phone. You've been calling your daughters too. You have no relationship. You. I don't relationship. trust you. I so want to relationship a with you. You're I'm not, 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 not giving you chances. I have given you chances. Okay, but I'm giving you give people chances. You're you right. don't give up on family. Right. You're you do right. not give up exactly on family. Right. Right. So and I'm not giving up on you. I'm not giving up. I've been calling you. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Please welcome Felicia's daughter and Shanda's niece, Jerrica, to the show. Jerrica, come on out. Strange men's in room. my boobs. Twice. No, three times, honey. Twice. Three Listen, times, you honey. Told me you, you never, never did that to your daughter. You never told me. You, you, you told me you never did that. Never did that. You said that never. You never did that. You never took me with you to go buy drugs. You never took me with you to go buy drugs. You never took me with you to go buy drugs. You never took me with you to go buy drugs. You didn't. You never put me in those positions. You haven't. Really? You haven't had drug men come into my house with my son that I trusted you with? Trusted you with? Really? You didn't go and get high all night and come back and sleep? 
say that I trusted you and me when I was 10. Now you're abandoning me while I'm 21. When is this cycle ever going to end? It's in it's gonna end. Left. How many that's times? Why that's, why, so that's why you that's left why me 10 left. years ago? No. That's why you left that's me 10 years left. ago? I that's left. why you left? What have you accomplished since then? What I've have left. you done? How, right. What I've have left. you done? How right you're now. moving and you're still leaving your kids? You need to be here for us. I'm here right kids. now. You're here. You're here. Right. What kind of example is that? But 19, you're 21 years old. What do you mean? I need my mother. I need my mother. I need my mother. Your babies need you. I need my mother. I need you. I need you. I can't go to school because I have to work my butt off day and night to take care of my child. You know I get no help. You know I do it by my own. My car. Take it away because I have to quit one of my jobs so I can take care of my child because I have no one to watch. Are you listening to this? Are you hearing this? Jerrica, how old are you? How old were you when your mom took you? She said you were. 18. I, I was 17, 18 years old. And she sir. took you to a hotel room. Took me to a hotel room. Left room. Took me to a hotel room. Left me alone with this guy. See, he locked all the door. That stuff, she went outside. All that stuff. For I some knew money. About for some money. money. I, I did not money. allow anybody no, to touch no, me. No, no, no. I don't know what that man did. You don't know what that man did. I don't know what that man did. I don't know what that man did. I don't know what that man did. You don't know. I knew one of my you don't know what he did. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? I'm in that situation. You are my mother. I knew one of my like a child. I'm tired of the feel like an adult ever since I was 14 years old. Right. I've had to hold right. my sisters down. Exactly. Ever since I was 14 years old. I've never got the opportunity to be a kid. I've never got, I've never got the opportunity to be a kid. Right. I can be somebody right now. I'm too smart. You somebody to be You still be somebody. You still got a restaurant. Take a deep me. breath. Take a, no, it's, I know what you're going through. It's coming out. These are not the remembrances you had when you told us. This is not. This is the reality of why you're separated. You see the separation here. Look at the pain. You've caused the pain with your sister, and you caused the pain with Jerrica. It comes time mm -hmm. to. You got to come clean, honey. I have Look, daughter. Say, clean. speak from the heart. I have come clean. Tell her. I have tell her. You tell her. that you made me because of that? Do you know that I do stuff to men because I think that that's Jerica, the right thing to do? Jerrica, don't say that. Please don't tell me that. Please don't say that. Please right don't say that. Jerrica, no, no, give your mama no, a chance, no. pain. I give her a chance, honey. I've never done drugs around you guys. Listen okay? to your mom. Go I ahead. I made that mistake one time, twice, and having you to go be never sick with a guy. Time, I never be sick with a guy. Time, I never let a guy touch you. I never let a guy touch you. Let her talk. I knew I wasn't going to touch you. I knew you that. A mom doesn't leave a daughter in a hotel room with a man. It doesn't happen that way. No. That he says. That's other girls. So how do you know he's not going to do it to me? I knew they did touch me. But look, with the balloon, he did touch me. Yes, he did touch me. I came in the room. He locked the door. I came You knocked on the door. You knocked on the door. That's not me. He had to let you in. But but I don't want to end this segment this way. Can we go forward? Can we acknowledge? I want to go for it. I, we, we, but you got to admit, because what you were telling the story early on was not the truth. What's your relationship like now with your sister? It's rough. <laughs> what relationship? You don't have one. She and has I, so much 
anger built anger. up she's got it her. too she's got so do much you understand anger. what you've done to your yeah. to your your children their relationship your relationship with your sister today's the day felicia it's got to end and we got it from this point on i have been doing that yeah, is been there a chance we're gonna move you've been doing better for 10 11 years and then you do the same no, thing but i'm not doing how long has it been when's the last time you had when's the last time you had a drug test and i believe take i'll take one right now go get a drug test i'll take it right now when I was going I was on never there. doing anything I want to know son. what you were really doing I was, was around never doing anything when you were in my son. home that never. I provided for Do you trust you? your mother no. with your child? you trust her? Not anymore. No. You not want a anymore. drug test and you, you want to not words, you want deeds. Yes. I've never, never, I've never, I'm, I'm not tired. using drugs now. I've been clean. I left, I love Springfield because I love Springfield because I so took a look. Your I look. Do you think she's clean? I abandoned my children. I left Springfield because I realized I, I realized, sir, let me talk for a second. I realized that I needed to make a change in my life. I look at my children. I realized I realize all change? my mistakes. I realized so all you my are standing as a gift. It's a change. It's right. You because told me on a Monday. Monday. I'm leaving no. Friday. I'm leaving no. Friday. No. Friday. You put me at your house. No, I did yes, not. You did. You, you, you came didn't watch in. my child. Talk about you don't want to keep your kid. You to Jacob, watch my child. You didn't tell me I had to leave your house. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did you not. Came, you told me to not stay at your house. When we you continue another sister to sister battle, sister is here coming up next. Stay right there. Another daughter. And you had twins when you were 15? Yeah, I got pregnant when I was 15. Where, where was your mom? Where was your mom? Right there. More memories form a painful past. Did she steal the uh, no money from you too, honey? Yeah, it's when she I was stole. pregnant, she took money from me. A vicious cycle. Do you think Jerry has a bad mother? mother? I think she still has a lot of wanting to do. Because I'm not you. I'm not saying I'm not you. My mom dropped the ball as being a good mom, and so I need her to better herself so she can do what she has to do. And I need my sister to stop trying to control, to stop trying to control my life, because I'm really responsible and I can handle myself. Bill, I need your help sorting this out today. Jerrica, before we bring out your sister, and, and she is freaking out off stage, what can happen today to build an, a relationship that didn't exist to one with your mom? Because she's here. Her physical presence means to me she wants to change. She can't change one one day of yesterday, but she can change all the tomorrows from now to the end of time. But what can she do? I want you to stop lying. I want to be able to believe what you, what you say and take it to heart. I want to be able to trust you around my child. I want you to be a mother to me, and I want you to be a, and I want you to be a grandmother to my child. That's the only thing I care about. I can't change yesterday, but I could change. So Welcome, Jerrica's sister, Jerrica to the show. Jerrica, come on out. You've been watching this. What's in your heart right now? What's going on? I just want my mom to be. I just want my mom to be able to own up to everything she did. And be what did she me. do? What are your memories? Because you and yourself at 17. Yes. What did your mom do to you, and what didn't she do? I just I needed her when I was younger. Like all of a sudden I took a live with my dad, and I didn't know why, and I didn't know why, and I just needed her support. And there were times I wouldn't see my mom for a, like a whole month. Like Where I was, was she? What do you think? I didn't know. Like, I thought my mom was homeless. I thought she needed help. I thought she was hurting. Like, your I didn't sister, know. and you had twins. When I got pregnant when I was 15. Where, yes. where was your mom? Letting her I go with the not, boy. I did not Letting know. Her go no, with no, the boy. Make, no, no. I, my mom's reaction when she's pregnant? Oh, I'm going to have grandchildren. I'm going to have a grandmother. I'm going to have grandchildren. I'm going to have grandchildren. They're going to be so twin boys. A, she encouraged. Your baby's not encouraged. She's like, she is. You can't. You threw away my first You threw away my first condo. Well, I was 14 years old. You threw away my first condom. You were you accepted. Why would I not? When I came I into you about having sex, I did you, not you, you, you encouraged you. I, I, I did not Jerica, never encourage you. I never encouraged you. Prevented it from mom. Like you never Jerica, cared, mom. I, I, I never met you. Let me and my guys to your house. Like you didn't care, and I didn't know. Like I didn't know it was. You and guys coming out of your house. Thirty coming out of your house. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen guys back and forth. No, everything was wrong. Like I never got taught that by anybody. Did you know your Did you Did you know your mom was an escort? Yes, I did. You know what that meant? We're 13, yes. 14, 15? Yes, I did. How'd that make you feel? It you're... made me upset. Like, I didn't, I was a really naive child. I didn't understand that much was going on. Mm -hmm. And so it really hurt me to figure out these things about my mom. I, I never expected her to Did she steal drugs. money from you too, honey? Yes, yeah, when I was stole... pregnant, she pregnant, 
she took money from me. And she said, oh, it's not stealing. I was going to give it back. I'm like, mom, that's stealing. You took the money from me. And I, was, I borrowed mom, that money. You didn't borrow. Mom, she excuse the me. Money. You didn't, you I, I was money. hiding it. You but found it. You took it. I got money. I was hiding it. I borrowed the $50 out of my son's piggy bank. Uh, I put a hundred dollars in the house. I gave you some money. 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 I was never, I never had sex for money. Get that Mom, you had other women what have is, sex What for is money. your sense of that? She hates and they just gave her money then. No. Now, what is the relationship now between you two? Wow. We don't. I mean, I love my I, sister to death. I love Because too. I'm all she has, I feel like. Right. And I've been so no, many years. Sweetheart, sweetheart, I've been I, so she doesn't many. speak up on this one. Always been there for no, my she needs. No, she doesn't. You have 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 Shanda, go ahead, excuse Shanda. Excuse me. Don't ever say I haven't. I, Shanda. Oh, excuse me. Yes, you I've there, always said. You put them out the house. Uh -huh, or, or Shanda. You, excuse Shanda. me, Jerry. I don't care what you say. You, I have, is that the truth? You know, you know, my kids. I have been there for you. One at a time. I have been there for you. One at a time. And would you say, get out of my house? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. You were like, really, Jerry? Me too. I was seven months pregnant. Pregnant. Homeless. Homeless. Stay with me. Where'd it go? She wouldn't take you in and she was on a no one. Homeless. No one took me in. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. You can't have time. You can't have time. One. Two kids. She was seven months pregnant. She stayed with me. That's your daughter. That's right. And I wanted her. That's you were staying with. And I took very good care of her. Okay, that's your child. That's not mine. I took very good care of her. Let's forget about on, them for a moment. Forget about them. What do you two want from each other? What do you want, Jerrica, from your sister? First, I want to know why you have so much. I want to know why you have so much anger against me. Like I know I'm not perfect. I know I make mistakes. I might not be the best mother, but you, but you calling me a bad mom after I took you and your two boys. This after I said I would never do it this again, you call it bad mom. Hurt I feel like you stay don't right there. Know. More coming up. Stay right there. We got the answer coming. This family fight is far from finished. I want hope that I did not abandon them. Excuse me. You didn't even let me know your Excuse me. More secrets. You told someone that I was a prostitute and I'm taking I my never child. told nobody. Who do I talk to? Because she's lying. You're saying battles. You won a $3,000 lottery ticket. How much money did you give to the drug tip man before you even cashed right. the ticket? And drama. Oh. Wow. Well, don't you want a relationship with your sister? I think you, you have a possibility. And you well, are Asia, too. Listen. By constantly fighting with your siblings, do you want to stop the feuding and put your family back together for good? Maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call. Thousand. Sister Bad Blood, answer the question, Jerica. What you, Jerica's relationship. The emotion is so strong. You want issues with her, and you probably got issues back. Yes. But answer her questions. I want her to be a better mom to her son. How I feel like mom? you follow the footsteps of mom sometimes. I feel like you don't put him first when it comes to certain things. How is that? You'll go out and try to go party and everything. You'll leave him with little kids. It's like you should be more caring to him. Jerica, I go out once a month. Jerica, you were in Vegas for a whole week. Yes, I was in Vegas for a whole week. I'm for a whole week. For a whole week. I'm for a whole 21. Week. And you know, but you weren't so supposed to be there that long. Life's supposed to you stop. didn't leave your kid with someone who my had to life's supposed Dad to stop. had to call off work. Ned had to call I left work. my child when he was supposed to be with his father. It's not my fault that You should have made sure he was in good hands. Do you think Jerica's a bad mother? I think she still has a lot of wanting to do. I so she's like a good mother <clears throat> in process. She's about to become a good mother. What about you? What about you? Because I'm not saying you have to be me. Because I'm not you. I'm not saying you have to be mean, Jerry. I'm not saying that. I'm just what saying you, you need to put more attention to your son. I don't my, my son's crawling. He's six months old. He steps And that's good. Because of me. And he because because of his, his grandparents. His grandparents. Fees. Because of his grandparents. Stop it. You're Ladies, look. Like, you, you four are the most important three other people in each of your life. Nobody's more important than you. Boom, boom, boom. All the way along. What do we do as a family? To quit the and the screaming and the accusations start fresh. And I think it begins with the with the matriarch. 
-hmm. It begins I, with you. What do you have to say to Jerika? I want my children to know that I did not abandon them. Mom, to go, you did. Excuse me, let me finish talking. Let her talk, honey. It might feel like abandonment to you, but I knew in my heart that I was not doing any good <laughs> being in Springfield. So I knew that I needed to make a fresh start with my life. So prayerfully set a prayer vision to go to Arizona. You didn't even let me Excuse know you're leaving. me, I went, you I didn't had let me know. to go. I left and went to Arizona. I moved into a shelter. I worked there. I worked. I found me a job and That's I started good. working. But when you, I started did you say working, bye to me, Mom? When I came, I started calling you guys to let the process of getting my life together because I could not be a better grandmother to my grandkids. I couldn't be a good mother. Do you girls Excuse believe that? Me. How, how many times have you been? How, how many times have you gotten a job? You've gotten right. an apartment and then you started back doing drugs. You no. lose your job. But right. it's it's happened happened but no. it's how many times have you called me? Why is it different, Felicia? The tell them why it's different. The difference is now is because I've grown up. I've when I left from a state by 2,000 miles to Arizona. I realized I have beautiful grandbabies. I have beautiful children. Mm -hmm. And the only way that I can better my life, better my life, is to go somewhere where I can get a fresh start and do good. Well, and that's the mission that I've been Shannon, do you really. believe? I was on a mission. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I believe her getting out of Springfield has I a job. I'm not only very successful at my job, I've only been there three months mm -hmm. for being the most valuable player at my job. I don't miss any day at work. How much money did you give to the drug man before you even cashed right. ticket? Hold on, let's go one to one. Shanda. And then you brag about stuff, Felicia. You have caused a volcano of emotion to erupt here today. Do you believe what she's I saying? Can, she's I saying, can't Shanda. Handle it. And that's why I look. I'm listen to what they said. Now listen, Mama. Listen, Mama. listen to everything they said. Look, listen. What has changed? I'm not giving up on my sister. Don't I never want give up. Her never give up. To get her life together. No, she does have never beautiful give up. Children, never give up. Beautiful grandkids. I love it. We was a Will you give her family. a chance? I'm going to always give her Will a chance. Will you give mama this is a my chance? Sister. This was my Even best if it's a hundred times. Maybe the hundred and first time it'll take. The hundred and first time it'll take. It is the hundred and first You know what? <laughs> you know what? Will it, Jerry? I'll give her a chance. That's it then. Will you give her a chance, Jerica? <clears throat> from this day forward. I guess, yeah. A lot more mother, daughter, sister drama coming up. Stay right there. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com, 888-710-8425, now. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think Felicia can make amends for the damage she's caused her family? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. Today is about how to resolve a sister blood feud that's gone on in these cases for 10 years and for many, many years and others. And you told her in the break that you had to address your nieces, that you agree, you love them and you're angry at what they're saying because you said that it was false and maybe lies. So tell your nieces your remembrances of you, how you interact with them because they have a completely different memory, right. just like with their mother. What do you have to say to them? First of all, when all this <laughs> came about, I was willing to get all of you, and you know this. Jerick and Jerika, from day every vacation that I went on, was you. I took care of you, and I love you. And so when you all got older, Rick, you know, we had a good relationship until I moved back. Am I right or wrong? Sure. Was she a good, good surrogate mother for you, too? Was I she a surrogate mother? I love my niece. In the beginning, she was. What happened at the Don't end? Don't say the beginning. No, Don't say the beginning. Don't say the beginning. You came to Springfield, you were not good. You came to Springfield, you were not good to me at when all. When I moved back, you were not good to me at all. Things were way different. I was different. going through a divorce. I was, I was pregnant. I was, I was 15. When you was in Arizona, I had no parents to take care right, of me. And I did she take care of me? When you were 15 and pregnant, did, did, did she care? She was good for me, but she didn't care for you. I told you where to go. I found you. You were nowhere. No, for a little, you were, but you stopped. Why do we get along? Why do Why do we get into it? We get into it because you disrespected someone. I did not. And I said, Rick, don't talk to her like that. That's when you attacked me. No. you? Shanda, you me sound just like my mom. You called me so many things before. Oh, right. You called me bad. Right. I, first of all, I, I, I repeated what someone said to me, Jerica. Jerica. That's what I repeated. Don't make you it seem. You told someone that I was a prostitute and I have men coming in and out of my house. That's how I'm paying my bills and take. That's how I'm paying my bills and taking. I never child. told nobody. Who do I talk to? 
you. But she's lying. You're saying that happened. Walking yeah. outside. That I wasn't. Okay. How's it possible we the Excuse girls me. remember the relationships with auntie and mother? Like maybe there's a little bit of truth in everything, no. and nobody's lying. Is well, that? Well, I know I'm not lying. Somebody's lying, somebody's lying here. Somebody's lying. I'll say no. this: you no. took darn good care of my older, took care of my older sister. No, I did. But and when it came to us, too. when no, it, to even to this day, if we go in your house, use the bathroom. First thing you do is go clean the bleach. You're right. That's, That's the first thing you do after we leave. Don't say no. You live right next door to me. How many times have you came? You didn't even come to my baby shower. Baby shower. I mean, I did. I did. You didn't come. Why didn't you go to the baby shower? My sister, my sister came in because she was having some type of dealings dealing with him. She made, she told, she what? made it seem like I wanted him. She was afraid that I was going to want this him. This girl is he, such a big uh, excuse liar. Excuse me, you want no. liar? Liar, you, you, you want him? Ladies, can I say this? You had him to get rid of me. I you did not have him get rid of you. Felicia. Another girl to come in to work. No, I did not. Felicia, time out. Felicia, time out. We're talking about women. Hold on, honey, let me talk. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me say, let me say some honey. We can never, we can agree to disagree and move on. We can't agree. Can they ever agree about what happened? Nobody. She was talking about how good of a work I was. She wanted me to be there. And he was like, This is how you live your life. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Before she came home, he said, I'm so excited for your sister to become your sisters mm -hmm. again. I went to this, all her paperwork for her. I was not using. I was staying at, back and forth at the house, being with my daughter. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm looking forward to your sister coming here. You guys working together, taking care of my wife. I said, fine. I was going there. Now, New Year's Eve, I asked him. I said, I... Aisha, can you listen? You have to agree to disagree. You have different memories that will never be resolved. And you can't win the argument because the other party won't give, won't give it up. So it's from this point forward, you have to agree to disagree and say to each other, no matter what our memories are, let's make new memories, new memories That's that everyone agrees to. That's why I'm here. We'll be up next, some expert advice. Stay right there. Are you constantly fighting with your siblings? Do you want to stop the feuding and put your family back together for good? Maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Give us a call right now. One family. Didn't Shannon one of them? I came to Shanda. Shanda always was very attached to my oldest daughter. But why'd you give up uh, your own child? Because I was a woman enough right. to realize that, that I had a problem. Face their demons. You abandoned me when I was 10. Now you're abandoning me when I'm 21. When is this cycle ever going to end? Will the drama end today? So at this point, make the makeover complete. Apologize for what you did, even I what you think you didn't do. You know, a sister is supposed to be best friends for life. How can we get these battling sisters to stop being enemies? Please, welcome relationship expert, Selena Gill. Selena Gill, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Selena, we need an expert because they want to win an argument instead of having a relationship. They can never agree as to what the facts mm -hmm. are. So how about moving on? What do you say? First of all, to these sisters, and then to those sisters, those sisters, and then to those nieces, and to those daughters. What do you say? For the first set of sisters, Sarah's in the makeup room together, right? Today's my birthday. Oh, well, no, it's around my birthday time. I'm going to makeover. I'm going to haircut. I'm feeling good. So how about let's complete the makeover by making an internal makeover, too? Mm. By, one, thanking your sister, even for taking your kids in, if, if anything else, just Hi. that. 
Just that, because one thing at a time. I was appreciative. I, Shonda, I never told you. I thank you. Lately, this year, you have. You have. Listen, Shonda. Listen. I told my sister, I cannot go back and change. You can't. Drugs make a person a different Stop person. Stop saying drugs. Okay. You know, you're right, but that's what Come it was. On. That's what it was. Okay, It was Felicia. drugs. Okay, now that my mind is clear and I have nothing that's messing with, with my memory or messing with, I call my sister and tell her I thank you. I cannot change the past with my niece. I've been trying to reach out to Shanda. I even told my, my daughter, I said, I miss my nieces, both of them. How I many said, times she called you? How many times you I've called Shanda? I've been calling my sister. Within I've, been, the last, I've, been, I've been wanting to reach out, reach out to my niece. Yeah. I've been wanting to send my, I've been times, to send my niece a present. And you never took the call. You never took the call. I never she took never the took it. She never took it. She don't want to know. You have to, to let go of the past. She I have to want no, to know. No, because you're still, hold, you're still I, holding you're, on. Maybe you're right. She maybe don't you're wrong. I do want to know. She don't want to know that I'm doing good with I my life. I do want to know. She does I not. She I wants me to stay down. So let's you so make it down. Let's make it down. Let's make it down. Why do I want you to dance? Out to you, and I've been trying to talk to you. What does that mean? Do you understand that? Exactly. Can you two climb down for a moment? I feel the emotion. Listen to Selena. First of all, you're going to let me talk. Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, the last month, you have called me several times, and I have put you on my reject. Your sister. I would never reject you. Listen, listen. You're not some drugs. I would never reject you. Felicia, I don't care what you need me. I would have if I could be there. I would never Selena, go ahead. Yeah, What's happening is, yeah. is, they can't have a relationship because they model their relationship after you two. Exactly, and I tell and them that you all the time. Understand that? I tell them that. I tell them all this all arguing I, right. and holding on. You're right. I tell them At that all point, the time. At some point, you got to just I, I need to drop it. Ladies, right. Selena, right. talk to the girls. We have a moment here. Talk to the girls. They said to me, we go through this every time they're together. We gather, we can't take it. Exactly. Now listen, you're the adults. These are the children. Right. Selena, talk to the girls. What's happened is parents abandonment so many times that they have no idea what to do with their lives. They haven't been got. They haven't been given guidance. They haven't been given purpose. They can't abandon each other. They can't, they can't aban abandon each other. They can't abandon each other. They can't hold on to each other. Right. Cause we had each other growing up. You don't show love. You may we have love. I'm growing up. We had growing up. Let Selena talk to the girls. Do you to the understand? Girls. Uh, Jerica, right? And Jerica. Jerica and Jerica. Jerica is taking out all her anger against Felicia mm -hmm. on Jerica. Cause she has no yes. one to take it out on. Yes. Yes. Because they I've love you so much. That. She needed kindness. I've they always They want you so much that. in their life. You so much that. in their life. You're that right. They won't confront you because they don't want to run you away because you abandoned them so many times. Make them make over come. That's what you did. Even I what you think you didn't do. Even what you everything. I apologize. And then hold your daughters. I and do it again. One more time. Mother. I told her. Tell, tell sorry. your girls. I told them I'm sorry. I told her. I told her. I love my kids. <laughs> when we continue with the bottom line, for more online, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. <laughs> Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+. Plus. <laughs> to all of you out there with siblings, here's the bottom line. No matter what happens in your life, you can't change it. I hope today's show has demonstrated to, to these very special women that it's time to forget the past. You can never actually in your mind say it didn't happen. But what good does it do you? Live your life today remembering the pain. What good does it do? We got tears all over the place. One of each of you, you say you love each other. Felicia, you love Shanda. Shanda, love you love Shanda. with all your heart. And you love so your much. girls and you miss her. How about this today so being the first day of the rest of your life and get to each other to be family members? While I came on the table, 
and I hope that we really can move forward from this. I don't. I hope this is not just for fun and pretend. Like I really hope they take everything that they said today and they learned today seriously and move on from this. Because I don't want, want me and my sister's relationship to be anything like that. I don't either. Amen.